Creating a culture of connection is going to be one of the biggest challenges your leaders, employees, and new hires face in the future of work. I believe courage, compassion, and care are three great conduits to create connection in the future of work. We have three things that I hope that you leave with, which is how do we create connection and find connection online, virtually in our virtual worlds, offline, both in the office and in the field, and then in line, which is with ourselves. Because I believe if we're feeling disconnected with ourselves, it makes it that much more difficult to connect with those around us. There's a combination of eagerness and anxiety thinking about returning to the workplace. And that anxiety is something I like to refer to as return phobia which is probably more properly known as adjustment disorder. Mark Osatch, digital wellness expert, says for 14 months we've all experienced various levels of trauma and even for those excited to return to the office, you should expect an adjustment period. Some people might feel really exhausted because it took more energy to get dressed, put do your makeup, comb your hair, uh, drive to the office, uh, where others are just uh, haven't had this much in-person conversation in a long time. He's a recipient of Crane's Detroit Business's 20 in their 20s and Oakland County's 40 Under 40 Awards. He's an experienced leader who's helped create strong cultures at several prominent businesses. This is the perfect message for us at the perfect time as we kind of embark on this huge change and shift as we work into a hybrid environment. We take for granted how important it is to be deliberate about connecting with people in this new hybrid way of working. Uh, so I learned a lot. How many of you in your OCD minds want to plug this cord in right now? Right, I see a few of you, yes. So I can feel the potential that exists when we have electricity, right? I can feel the potential that exists as people were beginning to pick which bands they want to wear, the green, the red, or the yellow, seeing faces th that they haven't seen beyond Teams and Zoom and the like. And it was just this action potential that exists. And I feel like the last year and a half has kind of felt like this, right? You've got this desire to connect with this action potential of the mission that you're on and the, and the goals and the things that you're after. But then you have this, um, you know, new barrier to how we're connecting. And I think that's exactly how it's felt for us as leaders on figuring out how can we create connection with our team members, how do we onboard new employees, how do we interview. When you talked about reconnecting with colleagues and employees, instead you had suggested, instead of saying how are you doing, you suggested, I believe it was, how is the state of your heart? I loved that because I feel like it's just a deeper emotional connection you can make with somebody and that really resonated with me. I believe, especially in the virtual landscape that we find ourselves living, leading, and learning in, it's ever more important that we share courage in the connections that we hold virtually so that way we can bring back that human connection that we all desperately need. RAIN stands for, can I recognize, allow, investigate, and nurture? All right, so can I recognize what is happening around me? Can I allow the experience just to be there as it is? Can I investigate with interest and care where these emotions are arising from? And lastly, and this is the hardest part, can I nurture self-care and compassion to myself and others? You used the word guilty a couple times, uh, right? It's not about guilt, it's about awareness and grace. So if you can say, you know what? I've been having these bad habits, they're not serving my highest need or my highest good. It's time to shift our awareness. Even if we're just kind of breaking those, you know, I'm gonna not sleep with my phone by my, by my bedside for one day this month, right? It's baby steps, so.